I'm gonna get you. Welcome back everybody. Okay, so with the introduction out of the way, uh, I just, I was feeling the moment, I had to get on the drum pad and uh, and just rip a little bit. But um, today's video, we are back with the triple injector. I, I did it sideways and you couldn't, either way. Triple injector, everyone. We are back on the triple injector and we're gonna be using actually a mold on the channel today that has never been on the channel. It's on a new mold, but I haven't filmed with it yet. It is the Angling AI tube mold. So we're gonna be doing some triple injected tubes. But before that, I, uh, I wanna try a yellow perch triple injection color. So, you know, if you think about the colors that just really seem like great triple injection, right? You think rainbow trout, you think baby bass, you think several different crawfish patterns. But what about yellow perch? You kind of have that dark black top, sort of a yellow gold center, you know, th throughout the belly, or th excuse me, throughout the body. And then you have that orange bottom. I think we can do an awesome perch pattern, triple injected bait. So that's what we're gonna start with. We're gonna start that off on the jerk bait uh, because the jerk bait just seems to, uh, it's, it just, it triple injects so wonderfully. So I would be just morally remiss if I did not do that for you guys. So that's what we're gonna start with. Then we're gonna move on to some creature baits. I have a crawfish color kind of in my head. So hopefully we can work that one up. And then we're gonna finish this out with some triple injected tubes. Uh, I'm excited to see all three. Hopefully it goes well. And uh, hopefully this will serve as some inspiration for you guys to build colors. You know, I get a lot of, um, well, not necessarily questions, but a lot of people ask me, you know, why don't you use formulas, right? Whenever you're showing people colors and, and different techniques, you know, why don't you give us like a formula, like a drop by drop formula? And while I think it's important to learn formulas, that way you can go back and make the exact same thing, here on World's Worst Fishing on my channel, my goal or, or the way that I kind of think about it is, I want to teach you guys color building and sort of the mindset and the thinking required to develop your own formulas at home and, and sort of how I go about building color. That way you learn how to build color and not just follow a formula. Just doing a little bit of uh, plastic stir in here. So most of today's baits are gonna be made with dead on plastics, of course. So this is the black bucket swim bait jerk bait blend. Um, considering that I'm going to be doing tubes later, I might actually use tube blend for that because, hey, doesn't that sound appropriate? So I've got two buckets of tube blend. This one right here you can see is very close to being empty, but there's some more tube blend back here. So giving our plastic a nice, uh, nice thorough stirring and uh, we're ready to try and build the first color. All right, so you can see I have all three cups in there and they're all measured out to be about three quarters of a cup each in the one cup size um, Pyrex cup. So you can see this cup is really designed to be measured out to one cup. You can measure out higher, of course. So those would get about two minutes if it was just one in there by itself. So we're just gonna multiply that by three and start with six minutes. That should get them pretty close to being cooked up. We'll take them out. We'll then stir the entire contents of the cup, then make sure that they get to full temperature and then we will meet you guys back, try to build some perch. So I'm thinking some Lure Works Black mixed with some dead on Paragon Mine Dust to sort of give a black pearl top. Then we're gonna base our yellow body. This is gonna be the center color on the Paragon Yukon, which is a nice golden yellow pearl. And then of course, dead on orange for the belly. And uh, I think that in this mold, triple injected, should look really awesome. All right, la da da, let's go guys. So again, the trick to this whole triple injector thing for me so far has been developing colors that play nicely together. 
and I have found that not oversaturating has given me better results. So I, I, I don't just want to mix every color up just super, super, super thick. I want some transparency so that the colors can kind of play off of one another. Now some colors you need to mix them thick. This one right here, I don't think I do. So we're gonna kind of start light, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, it's definitely a little too gray. So I want, definitely want a couple more drops of black. Okay, so we'll do, do three drops of black and see see what happens there and I want to build my colors in the orientation that I want top side over here middle color bottom side yeah sort of a nice sort of a nice dark charcoal pearl but if I let some out on the table there it's actually still very very see-through so I'm gonna add more black actually because that pearl effect isn't going anywhere. So you're gonna see that no matter how much of this black that I add. But I wanna make sure that it's not so thin that you won't really see it in the jerk bait. Yeah, that's looking a little bit better there. All right, so we'll kinda stop with that. Now this Yukon gold here. Add some of that to that middle color. Oh yeah. And if you don't have these Paragon colors, you can use regular powders for this, just mica powders. Just the Paragon colors make it easy to use powders because they're already um, in a liquid form, uh, being that they are um, kind of pre-mixed with plasticizer to an extent. So um, that's, that's the beauty of the Paragon colors. All right, so definitely need a little bit more of that. Oh, party foul, look at that mess. All right, so yeah, a little bit more of this gold here. And then you could brighten this with maybe some chartreuse or yellow or just whatever you want to do. You uh, definitely don't have to use things straight out of the bottle, however, my hand poured yellow perch color uses um, a yellow pearl like that or a gold pearl like that straight out of the bottle and I love it. So I'm trying not to change it there. Then just a few drops of the orange because it's very thick. Oh yeah, this is looking perchy to me. All right, everybody, here we go. Let's try it out. Feeling good so far. Kind of looks like candy corn. <laughs> All right, just like that. Hey, check this out. That's looking really good. And you can see the colors played very nicely together. And uh, yeah, that has all the color profile of a yellow perch. Okay, let's see how we did. Drum roll out of the way. Let's pop these open. Okay, so they're gonna go on that side. Pretty cool so far. Yeah, look at the look at the runner. Oh yeah, check these out. Sweet, look at that. <laughs> they're they're very Halloweenish too. Like it uh, it straight up reminds me of candy corn to to an extent. But uh, yeah, check it out. Perch flavored jerk baits. Yeah, 
And of course, you know, this is just the basic color profile. I didn't add any flake, any fancy color shift or anything like that. I think what I would do differently is maybe get my temperatures a little lower so that I don't have some bleed over. Um, but that's actually really good. I mean, if we just look at that by itself, yeah, I mean, that's, that's got the color profile of a perch. You could maybe add some like small black flake to the bottom. I might try that because uh, we have enough plastic to maybe get one or two more molds. So I might try that and, uh, and see what just a little bit of flake does to this. Yes, look at it. So cool. And you know, just some yellow perch, you know, and instead of just being black on the top, sometimes there's shades of green in there. So you could add maybe like a little bit of green highlight, um, some sort of green pearl, green color shift, and, uh, and really just tweak it to your liking. Um, but, you know, kind of like I said at the beginning of the video, I was like, I want to try yellow perch in a triple injected jerk bait because it just seemed like one of those colors that's just made for this triple injector. So now we're actually going to tweak it just a little bit and uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do there and then we'll see what version two looks like. Okay, added a little bit of black flake to the orange side, just some small stuff and a little bit of hyper shift to the uh, top side just to kind of give the color a little bit, uh, just more flavors I guess in the first version and uh, we'll run a few molds here and see what we get. All right, we'll see how the blending block looks after that second run there. Yeah. So you can kind of see, let's uh, maybe zoom in a little bit, kind of see that green hyper shift in the top side and then I definitely like the addition of the flake. So we'll see what happens when we pull the baits out of the molds. Okay, and here is version number two. So let's take a closer look. I like it. I like it, I like it. I actually wish I would have added a little bit more of the uh, hyper shift to the top. You can kind of see it there. Um, so that's what I would do differently if I was gonna make this exact color again. But I have to say, I really like the addition of the uh, flake on the bottom. And uh, I think it just gives it a little bit more of an identity. So I'm gonna have to say, between the two, I like this version, version number two, better as a yellow perch in a jerk bait. So, comments down below. Let me got, uh, bleh, let me know which ones you guys like best. Jeez, freaking tongue twister out here. Okay, everybody. So so far, we've seen two different versions, um, built off the same color, of course, um, of a yellow perch pattern in the triple injector. So uh, earlier in the um, introduction I said I was kind of kind of kind of gonna do three different things I was gonna do the perch I was gonna do like a crawl color and then something in the tube uh, so for kind of like time purposes I think I'm gonna just go ahead and run the tube color but or, or build the tube color but we're gonna run it in the ecto crawl and the stinger first because I think it will also double as a really great creature bait color and then we'll move on to the tube mold and uh, I just I can't wait to see uh, a three color triple injection tube once that tail is cut and you see all the the fringes of the tail right I just think it's gonna be like color mania so um, with that said we're gonna build this color now it's gonna be based off of one of Terry Scroggins colors that we made whenever we went down there uh, last November actually um, called Cooter Brown so we're gonna kind of base a triple injection color off of one of his colors and uh, I think it'll look pretty sweet. Okay, Cooter Brown reimagined. Top side, if there is one, Green Pumpkin base. So, Green Pumpkin 109. We're also gonna mix it with one of my favorite colors, MF Dark Watermelon. That will just give it a little bit of a different look, which I absolutely adore, MF Dark Watermelon. So that's color number one. Yeah. Probably needs to be thickened up a little bit. Definitely think it does. So a little bit more there. And then that's gonna get some gold flake. Medium sized gold flake. 
All right, so this is the .035 hex cut. Yes, sir. Beautiful. This is a color that uh, Scroggins likes to run in flipping baits. Minus the whole center color that we're about to do, which you can see there in the background is blue. You got it. Similar to sort of the crawfish color that we did in our very first triple injection video, we're going to hit up the center with some blue. I think it just works too well to not throw some in there, especially if you've got crawfish pattern on your mind. I definitely think you need some sort of blue in the mix. Oh, yes, sir, indeed. All right, last but not least, we want a yellow bottom. This is dead on yellow. What I like about this yellow is that it's like an old school school bus yellow. It's not a super bright whitened yellow. You can see there it's almost got a little bit of orange to it. Regular Cooter Brown has a, has a much lighter shade of yellow, but we don't want to make it exactly like that since we are kind of doing a triple version of it. And then we're actually going to sneak in some black flake here. Which again goes against the original recipe, but hey, that's what's great about making your own baits. You can do whatever you want, people. Don't worry about what somebody else did. Okay, now we're actually gonna brown it up even more though, which to me just makes things look a little bit more natural when you kind of soften the saturation a little bit. Super bright colors to me don't look quite as natural as colors that are kind of slightly dulled so you can see that yellow is just toned back a little bit all right and you know what a little bit of black flake in the uh, blue side don't want to leave it hanging too much there since it is going to be visible particularly in the extremities of the baits all right and we're going to try this and see what it looks like but first we're going to see how our colors play with one another so I will invite you all to look at my table here. And this is just my way of testing laminates or triple injection colors, is just to kind of drizzle them together to an extent and just kind of see how they see how they play together. So you can see that the uh, green pumpkin side is kind of getting a little lost there so it almost it's almost too close to to my yellow so I can either brighten my yellow back up or I can maybe darken my uh, green pumpkin and I think I'm gonna darken the green pumpkin by adding maybe just one drop of black okay so there's what I have I darkened up the watermelon side or the green pumpkin side I actually added two drops of black to that mixture and did not change anything else. So I think I have sort of a, a pretty good little trio of colors there. I think they complement each other well. Well, if you look at where they mix, they're not just swallowing each other up. So we're gonna try that. Okay, everybody, so we have our three colors laid out. We actually have the AI tube mold right here. Rods inside are oiled up. We'll open that one last and just kind of explain how the tube mold works in case um, some of you have never um, worked with an injection tube mold. We have also right here the Ecto Craw and the Grass Grenade. So we're going to get the triple injector out and go to work. Here's the ecto crawl. We'll try to get these stingers. Should have enough. Yeah. Okay, so there are the three colors there. 
that's what we're working with and hopefully this doesn't look like garbage okay and here is the blending block on this one so a very interesting color here and uh, man fingers crossed I really hope this looks as good as it does in my mind yeah I'll take it I will take it look at that yeah so let's just grab a stinger here okay so there's the yellow side I love the way the blue kind of fills in those little arms that are right there in the middle that's kind of where that middle blue color is gonna go then of course you have the top color as well looking good look at this ecto crawl here look at that oh it's just got a little bit of everything and actually you know now that I'm looking at this if I had to do it again I would actually leave the yellow side just a little bit brighter I think I darkened it just a smidge too much and it's not quite as profound as, as I actually want it to be but uh, wow I mean what else can you say about the triple injector other than just look at that okay so let's look at this tube mold here as you can see uh, there's definitely some different things going on never inject molds without the rods or else you will have plastic literally come out the sides and I don't have to tell you that that is dangerous so let's open this up here and see what we have Oop, maybe maybe we're gonna open it up and see what we have yeah look at this madness those are freaking gorgeous okay so here is what the tube looks like wow just look at I mean just look at the triple injection going on there and with these I actually think the yellow side is is enough it is it's it's just crazy how uh, how different things can be so now we just need to slide this off you have to um, oil the rods of course which I did yeah there we go just had to get it started yeah check that out so pretty cool so that's what the tube looks like by itself and now that that rod is not in it to kind of brighten it up you can see how it actually brightens that yellow side yeah I actually I actually would want more yellow in these so before we make some more tubes I'm gonna brighten that yellow side back up just a little bit okay everybody we have our manual tail cutter here which um, is also from AI and here's what one of the finished ones looks like look at this oh gorgeous so that was one of the first tubes here's one of the second ones with just a little bit more yellow you can see the yellow is just a little bit more pronounced in round two um, so basically I'm gonna change up camera angles but I'm gonna show you how you um, cut the tails all right so basically you want to lay your tube on a piece of wood and you can see those blades are oily right that's because I want to be able to peel this off in one piece so you can kind of see where the tube changes I'm going to dig dig the cutter in there sort of at an angle you can see it's angled okay and then I'm just gonna roll it back all right you can see I actually didn't get all the way back on that one but that's okay and there's kind of what you have so then you just peel it out and then because I didn't get that all the way all I need to do now is just take some scissors cut that back end off and then now my tube has a, uh, a skirt just like you want it to and that's it so we're just gonna keep lining tubes up here all right there's another one okay next boom just roll right through it I don't even have to like pound with a hammer or anything like that okay okay tubes on a plate now we just need to dump them in salt and now they'll look like tubes <laughs> You always see salty tubes, right? Salty, salty, salty. Yeah, there we go. 
There it is. Okay, y'all. Greatest thumbnail ever on the channel? Comment below. Let me know what you think. That's freaking cool. You've got your perch, uh, jerk baits in there, <clears throat> and then we have our ecto crawls, our stingers, and then these tubes. Man, I tell you, I absolutely am just loving the triple injected tube. What do you guys think? Freaking sweet. Oh, I tell you, it was hard to get these tubes uh, on there like that. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, please let me know in the comments below which ones you like. Also, please like and subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of you watching who are not subscribed. That's the word on the street from some other YouTubers. So hit the subscribe and the notification bell. That way you don't miss any videos and all that good stuff. Again, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you make baits at home, hope you got a little bit of inspiration and, and maybe some new color ideas. That's kind of what I hope all my videos do is provide some inspiration and direction um, to the viewers at home. So yeah, this one was killer. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I think we're gonna sign this one off right here.